So the whole project started out with a small metal model that I bought at a hardware store up in Upper Michigan. And uh, then I got to thinking about this drone that I had in my basement. So using my uh, skills with scratch bill aircraft, I decided to take the two and meld them together. I uh, copied the plans from the small metal model. I blew them up to scale. And using these instructions, I put together my scratch built lunar module. And you can see here's the base of it uh, in proportion to the small model. So then I began working on the upper ascent stage. Uh, once that was completed, it was time to introduce the drone to the model. However, just like in the Apollo mission, they didn't fly the lunar module before they knew actually how to fly it. And in this case, they used a vehicle called the LLRV, which uh, was inherently dangerous in full gravity. This is a video of Armstrong actually bailing out of that at the last minute, saving his life and, you know, obviously the mission. Here's my version of the LLRV. And uh, once I proved that it could fly, I introduced it into the LEM uh, model. And then I finished painting it, detailing it, uh, many, many more hours of work. And this is the final product here. All right, you'll see that not everything is, obviously is to scale on this, but it was designed to fly. And frankly, it was just enjoyable to build. And I didn't want to get too technical. Uh, one of the more difficult areas was the landing gear. I had to create them strong enough, um, but also replaceable in case I had a bad accident. Then the other area was the slits in the side here, which disguised partially uh, the, the props and the drone itself. Uh, just to kind of keep a low profile. I did create the model in two parts, the ascent stage and the descent stage, much like the real spacecraft is designed. It also enabled me to have easy access to some of the electronics and the battery. Um, you'll see a little bit of the construction inside and, and um, how that all went together here. I didn't originally plan on building uh, the bottom to this aircraft as far as putting on an exhaust nozzle and all that. But um, then when I got to looking at the model and knowing that it's going to be flying overhead most of the time, uh, there was, it was pretty ugly inside. So I took an extra little while and built this bottom portion. Inside you can see the drone itself, the wiring, that is all accessible and with the cut of three um, zip ties and slicing those little doors open, I can easily access the electronics. Now, um, I have many hobbies, uh, one of which is creating video and editing photos. And you can see here that um, I'm kind of playing around with a few things. But I also did this with these stills, these higher quality stills for model builders. Um, it's always nice to have um, good clear images that you can pause on and, and zoom in on. So these are for those people. So if you're one of them, you're welcome. Okay, here I am flying the model. Um, it stands about a foot and a half tall by two feet wide, weighs in at about five pounds, and will consume a 4,000 milliamp battery in about three and a half minutes. So it's kind of a hog, but it's, uh, it's a blast to watch fly. So I'll be quiet and just let you enjoy the flight. And there you have it, the Apollo 11 Lunar Module, the Eagle. This uh, model was a lot of fun to build. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, take care. Hey, if you like my video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and then click that little bell icon so you get notified whenever I post something new. Again, thanks for watching. See you soon.